There's two main philosophies when it comes to making sure that your database isn't a mess. One is on the reactive side. Some applications give you a tool and that tool will take a look at your database and all your existing records and try to find commonalities so that you can dedupe this information and you can merge records together. But SmartSuite just rolled out with a new automation action to merge records. This instead is a proactive approach. This is saying that when we get new information that comes to us, we're going to automatically process it to make sure that we're not adding duplicate records to the database. So you can see here, I have just a simple table of contacts and we're gonna use myself as an example, so we've got Dan Lehman, here's an email address, and we've got some other information about my record. Inside of SmartSuite, I'm on just a basic contacts table, and we can see I have a few contacts, and we want to make sure that as new contact records get created, that we don't create duplicate information. Let's head into our automations, and we'll create a new automation. I'm going to call this automation prevent duplicate contacts, and we're going to add a trigger here. In my case, I'm going to do this when a record is created, but if you're using SmartSuite's forms, maybe on your website, that would be another good option as well. Next, we need to add an action. When we click this button, you'll see there's this new option in beta called Merge Records. As always, we start by giving it the table and we're choosing our contacts table here. And then we need to look at our field matching criteria. This is to determine what fields mean that this is a duplicate record. If you're dealing with contact information, probably the most common key or identifier is going to be an email address. You might wanna use a second value like a phone number as well. We also have the ability to choose the matching operator. Do we want to say that both the email and the phone number need to be an exact match in order to trigger this automation? Or do we go with or? It could either be a match on the email address or a match on the phone number. It doesn't have to be both of them. We just need a match with one of them to fire this automation. In this case, I'm going to choose or. Then we get to our field merge actions and we have three different choices. You'll notice that this maps out all of the different fields that we have. And the three choices that we have are to replace, to append or to ignore. Replace means there's a new record coming in and we're going to take the new values and replace the old values that we already had in the database. Ignore is the other end of the spectrum. We have new values coming in we don't really care about them. We're going to defer to what we originally had in the database. And we also have the option to append for special kinds of fields. So let's say we have our contact linked to an account, but that contact now changed companies and they submitted that form again. So we have the original company that they worked at. And now when we create a new record, it's taking that new value of the new company that they work at, now we can append them together. We can see both companies that they worked at or are now working at. We also have a field for notes. And I think this makes a lot of sense that we wanted to append those values. So maybe we had a form submission and we said, how can we help you? And we want to keep track of both times what they told us they need help with. Let's go ahead and save our automation and we'll turn this on. Now let's test it out. So let's take a look at Dan Lehman's contact information. We can see his name, an email address, a phone number, and we met Dan at this conference last year. We're also looking at a current company and we're storing their former company information as well. Now let's say that someone's attempting to add this duplicate contact to our database. It's the same name, that part doesn't matter here, but we've got an email address that matches, a phone number that matches, and then we've got some different notes about this individual. We can also see that they switched companies. Let's go ahead and save this record and see what happens. We can see that this new contact record is created here, and then our automation runs, and this processes based on what we told it to do. So we were able to append the values. We now have Zoom and automation helpers. We've got automation helpers, which replace that old value. It's now automation helpers instead of Zoom. And if we expand this record, we can see that our notes got merged. They got appended as well. So we can see that we met Dan at this conference and it would be great to collaborate with them. Because the new merge records action is just another automation action, that means we can do other things as well. We could chain multiple actions together or we could run an update after this completes. So I think you'll really enjoy having the ability to preventatively make sure that your database stays clean. If you have any questions about your own smart suite setup, don't hesitate to reach out to automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30 minute consultations.